welcome to the workshop. So today I'm going to start work on the cylinder casting. Thanks for tuning into this video. This time I spent a little while trying to improve my production. I shot some video on a tripod and did a lot more detail on the machining process and I really would appreciate it if you let me know if you like it. Uh, if you prefer shorter videos with so like summaries of the machining process that's fine too but either way it helps me make better videos for you. Thank you. Uh, this is going to involve flattening uh, the valve port face and uh, the two ends of the cylinder and boring it. Uh, but first, uh, as euphemistically described in this book, um, I need to uh, remove the excrescences of casting. Right, so the rest of these are just very small, small bits. So I'm going to go around the outside on the grinder. So this is the cylinder casting. We've uh, we've used a file on the bottom here to clean it up, and as you can see, there are many facets on both of these sides which need to be cleaned. Um, I know that this needs to end up from face to face, one inch and one eighth, and it's currently um, about an inch and three sixteenths. So I need to bring a thirty second off both sides. <laughs> bad finish really is it? Having faced one side I'm going to use my height gauge um, to mark out the other side just for convenience really. The reason I'm using this one two three block is that my height gauge uh, starts at two inches. Um, So, not sure how well you can see that, but we've got a uh, scribed line around. And just to prove that I'm not lying, we are on 750 exactly. Uh, I'm very pleased with that. So in order to uh, drill the recess for the steam port, it has to be parallel with the, um, the port face. So I've got my compound uh, compound slide here. I've mounted the cylinder transversely, uh, and uh, trying to find the the center of this um, this bore when there's nothing in it isn't all that easy. I have the lead screw engaged. I have the backlash taken up on the hand wheel off to the right. Uh, so I am thirty thou away using uh, a feeler gauge uh, from the face of the mill to the face of the part. I need to go in 3 30 seconds of an inch, which is 94 thou, plus the 30 in the feeler gauge, it's 124 thou. All right. 
according to the dials, that was exactly 124 foul, which should have brought me 330 seconds of an inch into that steam passage. You're, we're both seeing this for the first time, so it might be terrible. So this is the setup I've got for drilling the steam passages between uh, the cylinder and the, the, the port face. So this is the um, compound slide set to 25 degrees. And um, what I've done here is just clamped the, the cylinder flat against the, the vise. What I'm going to be doing is feeding this in and I'm watching for the drill bit to break out in the steam port over here. So my head might get in the way a little bit, um, but quite frankly, I don't really want to risk this almost finished <laughs> cylinder by not being able to see what's going on. So you have to excuse me if that happens. I think that's it. This is one of the last features on the cylinder, um, and that is the exhaust port hole, uh, which is right in there. So not having a, uh, a DRO or anything like that to, to measure, uh, what I've done is I've scribed the hole, uh, the correct height from the port face, and um, equidistant um, on the exhaust port, uh, the milled hole and the milled exhaust port. Right, I think I just heard that break through. quarter of an inch and we'll go in an extra 50 foul. So that is now in there 300 thou. That's the uh, that's the tapped hole. Uh, this side uh, doesn't have anything. Um, there are the two milled holes. So um, actually, on on this, there's nothing yet to do. There's, there's uh, a pitch circle diameter to mark and drill. Um, but I'm going to do that through the cover, the valve uh, steam. Sorry, the valve, the piston. No, the cylinder covers. <laughs> 